Hi everyone! Today, we are going to discover the different architectural designs in Malaybalay City, Bukidnon. Destination, Malaybalay City, Bukidnon. Malaybalay! Here we go! The city of Malaybalay is a first-class component city and the capital and administrative center of the province of Bukidnon. It is dubbed as the South Summer Capital of the Philippines because compared with the rest of the country, the climate in Malaybalay is relatively cooler the whole year round and the area is not on the typhoon belt. There are numerous tourist attractions and points of interest around the city that are natural and man-made. Let's hop around the city and discover how worth visiting this place is. A short ride from the Malaybalay city proper is the magnificent Benedictine Monastery Church of the Transfiguration. It is considered as the most visited architectural structure in the whole province of Pignon and the most visited religious communities in the Philippines. It is even said that one's visit to Pignon is not complete without visiting this holy structure. So why don't you join me as I witness the magnificence of this religious building? Nestled on the coffee-planted hills of Barangay San Jose, Malaybalay City, is the Benedictine Monastery Church of the Transfiguration. This infrastructure, found just outside the Malaybalay City proper, is known for its pyramid church, sitting on top of a hill overlooking the granary. It is designed by the national artist for architecture Leandro Luxin. Its distinct pyramid-shaped church is mainly made of heavy lime blocks and wood. The black painted pyramid actually serves as a huge and grand roof of the church and sits on glass walls framed by aluminum steels. The glass walls, sliding doors, and windows are used extensively to bring in natural light. These large black beams that surround the outside of the church work as the main support of the entire building. These are extended all the way to the inside of the church connecting all the other beams, frames, and posts which also create a linear-inspired space because of their bold horizontal and vertical features. Since the building employs a modern architectural design, most structural elements and inner workings of the church, just like the exposed beams, are revealed and exposed to the viewer to show the bare and true nature of the project. Also, one of the most interesting and unusual components of the church is their bell tower. Instead of a typical walled structure, their bell tower is only designed by three tall posts, formed in a triangle, enfolded by three concrete triangles on top. Architect Luxin took reference to the mountain range of Mount Kitanglad to design the sacred house of God, effectively blending the structure to nature. Within the monastery compound is a two-story museum of Transfiguration Monastery. Don Martin, a celebrated designer, made an admirable collection of vestments inspired by tribal design and indigenous materials. And all of these are housed in this equally admirable room. A few walks away from the monastery church is a two-story building. This white painted structure is known as the Museum of Transfiguration Monastery and it houses different kinds of artworks from local Filipino artists. Dom Martin de Jesus Gomez, a famous fashion designer turned into monk, serves as a curator of the museum today. This building has a simple box type structure which employs the simplistic nature of the modern architectural design. A simple portico or a porch with roof which rules in front of the building which also had a ceiling made of wooden panels. 
This porch leads to the main entrance of the museum. The right side of the building also has a veranda that is fenced with wooden railings and supported by cement blocks. This veranda also leads to another entrance to the museum. On the other side of the building are glass windows barred with steel bars for security purposes. A lintel is also placed across the top of each window. Just like the monastery church, the museum also used glass-made sliding doors and windows extensively to bring in natural light. White ceramic tiles are used for flooring which agreed effectively to the all-white color of the museum's walls. Similar to the purchase ceiling outside the building, the entire interior ceiling is also covered with wooden panels. Even the staircase leading to the second floor is very bare and free of clutter. Overall, the Museum of Transfiguration Monastery is truly an admirable structure that offers us not only astounding artworks, but also an incredible modern architectural view. Standing behind me is the beautiful home of the Miller family, which is located at Barangay Panambok, Malay Balay just a few minutes away from the city proper. This beautiful home, a family residence, has been standing since 2003 and has maintained its elegance through the years. Behind this grand wrought iron gate, which is designed to resonate the Art Deco era of modern architecture, is the mansion of the Millard family that is standing over a decade now. This two-story cream color building is elegantly designed to employ some ancient styles of classical architecture with a touch of modern design. These are evident in the Roman Tuscan order used to create the columns standing along the entire length of the veranda of the home. Glass doors and windows that are framed with white aluminum steel are also used to bring in natural light inside the building. Instead of opting for the traditional triangular roof lines, the house has multiple roof lines at different levels. Overall, the Millard's Mansion is a one-of-a-kind residence home here in Malay Balay that should be an object of such adoration because of its timeless elegance. I am outside of the lovely home of an old couple living here at Barangay Kasisang, Malay Balay City. Come and join me as I enter and give you an architectural tour of this beautiful residence. The full house found in the quiet barangay of Kasisang is owned by an old couple who is not to be named. The first thing to notice is the wonderful way of incorporating different architectural designs from different eras in one beautiful residential house. A portico with a magnificent roof structure leads to the wooden main entrance door with a transom made of stained glass above it. Around the house are glass windows with white painted concrete frames and all barred with steel bars for security reasons. Balcony with art outlines and steel railings was built on the rightmost part of the house. All over the house are posts made out of brick-like stones that borrow the Doric style column design of the classical age. Creatively designed holes are fashioned on the extended ceiling just before the rain gutter to allow for the hot air to escape from the house attic. All in all, the house was designed beautifully by borrowing different architectural elements from other eras in order to give off a welcoming and warm atmosphere. Malay City is a genuine refuge for attractions or points of interest that are both natural and man-made. This city not only strives to keep links to the past by celebrating the customs and traditions of the province's indigenous groups, but also celebrated the present that can be seen through their uniquely designed contemporary buildings. This tour has made us more appreciative to how different buildings are designed. Being able to examine, study, and name various architectural designs and buildings 
has also enabled us to see the authentic beauty and understand the true value of architecture.